Hello and welcome to LearnGermanGames.com, the only place where you learn German with actual computer games, complete with easy mini exercises to help you learn. So make sure to stick until the very end of the live stream to participate in the live chat. We're going to do mini games in addition to the actual game to help you learn better. And also, if this is your first time, make sure to follow the real-time subtitles. Yellow is for German and blue is for English. Knowing that, let's start. So last time we were back at playing with Bella, the girl here, trying to save her from this uh, monster that the village is trying to sacrifice her to. So let's see what's gonna happen. Also. Würdest du etwas im Tausch gegen ein bisschen von dem Schlägel haben wollen? Was hast du denn? Hm, ein Handtuch? Ich habe hier ein Handtuch, das ich gegen den Schlägel tauschen würde. Du hast ein Handtuch? Warum sagst du das nicht gleich? Oh, <lacht> wie lange bist du denn schon da? Bist du mütterlicherseits Geier oder sowas? Wie kannst du in so einem Moment nur ans Fressen denken? Hmm. Alright, let's do some explanations before we go on. Würdest du etwas im Tausch gegen einen Bissen von dem Schlägel haben wollen? Let's break up this sentence here. Würdest is would. Ja, yeah. du is obviously informal for you. So would you something... Ja, im Tausch. Tausch is from the verb tauschen. So der Tausch is exchange. So in exchange against a bite. Der Bissen von dem Schlägel. Schlägel, you can see here, is the drumstick that the girl is carrying in her hand. Ja, piece of chicken here. This is one of the meaning of Schlägel. It can also mean drumstick. You can see in the images. Uh, in this case, she means drumstick. Haben wollen. Notice how the verbs here are at the very end. The best way to really learn uh, the word order in German is to expose yourself to a lot of German. This is why we learn using games here in context. You will have a feel of them. It's a lot more efficient than learning rules and you'll eventually sound super native. So would you want to um, exchange something uh, would you want something in exchange for a bite of the drumstick so we're trying to get her drumstick in exchange for something if you're new to learn german games notice that there's a lot of colors here to help you learn grammar as well as new words and their gender you can see that bissen is in blue because this is a masculine word yeah and you can also see the um, purple here that tells you that this is the accusative case that comes after gegen and we have einen because bissen is masculine. For other uh, nouns that are masculine or feminine or whatever they are, you can also see a colored ending that helps you remember the gender of a word. So der Schlegel is masculine because it ends with el. So it's okay if you don't memorize all of these. Keep watching and keep coming to uh, Learn German Games' events and videos. You will get used to it in time. This is the whole point. You will see similar information over and over again in different contexts. Hmm, was hast du denn? Hmm, what do you have then? Ich habe hier ein Handtuch, das ich gegen den Schlägel tauschen würde. So we saw the noun version of exchange, which is der Tausch. We're going to add now to the vocabulary list another word, which is the verb version, tauschen, to exchange. Also, ich habe hier ein Handtuch. You can see Handtuch is in orange because das Handtuch is nur. It means tower. Dass ich gegen den Schlägel, äh, Schlägel äh, tauschen werde. Notice how the conjugated verb here is at the very end because of das. Yeah. So, this is what's called a um, subordinate clause. If you like uh, grammar, you would know what that is. If you don't, that's okay. <laughs> Ask me about it in the comments and then I'll give you a few articles to help you study that. That might be helpful. So I have a towel here that I would trade for the drumstick. Du hast ein Handtuch? Warum sagst du das nicht gleich? 
Gleich literally means equal, but in this context, it means right away, or why didn't you just say so in that sense, yeah? So you have a towel, why didn't you say so in the first place? This whole meaning in the first place comes from the word gleich. Also, make sure to keep your mouth open when you say the ich here, gleich. Check out my short videos on my channel to see how to pronounce it properly, gleich, yeah. Also, warum sagst du das nicht gleich? Why didn't you say that in the first place? Oh, lachend. So they're describing what she's saying. So laughing. Laughing, the ing meaning comes from the D here. Yeah, so while she's laughing, lachend. Wie lange bist du denn schon da? How long have you been there? Bist du mütterlicherseits geil oder sowas? So she's talking here to the bird. Yeah. Are you a vulture on your mother's side or something? You can see the word uh, that comes from mother, mütter, mütterlicher. It's like motherly side, seid. Und der Geier is a vulture, a masculine noun because it ends with er. Yeah. Oder sowas or something. Yeah, I'm not sure why she asked him this question. Such a weird question to ask. Wie kannst du in so einem Moment nur ans Fressen denken? How can you think only about eating at a time like this? Notice here you have an with an S. So this is short for an das Fressen. Fressen is actually a word that means eating, but for animals, das Fressen. Yeah. All right, let's see what we're going to do here. Um, was haben wir denn dabei? Um, Hab dich. Jawohl, schlage deine großen blauen Flügel. Noch ein bisschen stärker. Okay, um, wir haben noch ein Messer dabei. Hey, wie wäre es, wenn wir uns den Cupcake teilen? Du kannst die untere Hälfte haben. Komm zurück, du wahnsinniges Gör! Recht so, mein Mädchen. Sie hat uns alle ins Verderben gestürzt. Mark Chatras Zorn wird sich bald über unser Dorf ergießen. Jessie ist mit einem Mädchen zurückgekommen. Uh, ein neuer Rekrut. Zeit für deinen alten Vater, sich von seiner besten Seite zu zeigen, Prinz Charming. Schön. Christopher, bitteschön. 
Äh, äh, hab dich. Hab dich. Got you. Jawohl, schlage deine großen blauen Flügel. Jawohl, schlage deine großen blauen Flügel. Das Verb hier ist schlagen. To beat. And the noun is der Flügel. Masculine because it ends with E-L. Ja. Jawohl, yes sir, beat your big blue wings. <lacht> Noch ein bisschen stärker? Noch ein bisschen stärker. For everybody who's having trouble pronouncing bisschen, make sure you remember that the word actually is cut in half like that. Say bis first, then open your mouth and say chen. Ja, bis chen. Bisschen stärker and make sure here, stärker is a sh because the S comes before a T. So a little stronger still. Hey, wie wär's, wenn wir uns den Cupcake teilen? Hey, wie wäre es, wenn wir uns den Cupcake teilen? How about we share the cupcake? We have den Cupcake here because this is the accusative direct object of Cupcake, which is masculine. Du kannst die untere Hälfte haben. Du kannst die untere Hälfte haben. Die Hälfte, the half, I'm mean, because it ends with E. Unter is a bottom or lower. And we have an E here because Hälfte is feminine. Ja. Yeah. Komm zurück, du wahnsinniges Gör. <laughs> Komm zurück, die, du wahnsinniges Gör. Das Gör is a cheeky little madam. <laughs> Come back here, you insane cheeky little madam. Wahnsinnig is insane. Make sure to stretch the A here. Open your mouth on the A and stretch it a bit. Because there's an H after it. Wahnsinnig. And the verb here is zurückkommen. Also for your pronunciation, make sure you pronounce it T first. Uh, actually not here. On the Z, yeah. Because the Z in German is a Z sound. Zurück. Recht so, mein Mädchen. Recht so, mein Mädchen. That's right, my girl. So, correct like this. <laughs> Ja. Sie hat uns alle ins Verderben gestürzt. Mokchotras Zorn wird sich bald über unser Dorf ergießen. Sie hat uns alle ins Verderben gestürzt. Mokchotras Zorn wird sich bald über unser Dorf ergießen. Genau. If you're not sure what uh, Mokchotra is, this is the name of the very nice little monster we just escaped from. <laughs> ja. Also. Sie hat uns alle ins Verderben. So ins stands for in das. Und das Verderben is ruin. You can see that ins is uh, accusative because in das is motion because of the verb stürzen, which is to pounce, or in this case it's better to say to plunge into, as in plunge into ruin. Okchotras Zorn. Was heißt Zorn? What does Zorn mean? Der Zorn means wrath. So she has plunged us all into ruin. Mokchotra's, Mokchotra's wrath will soon be poured upon our village. Das Dorf is a village und ergießen is to pour. Keuch, gasps. Welt falls. <laughs> Vulcan shoe, apparently there's a sign here that says the cloud shoes. Krechts, Krogs. You're gonna learn all the names of uh, all the names of the sounds of the animals in this game, apparently. Ah! <laughs> Wütendes Krechtsen. Angry squawking. Papa, schau! Jesse ist mit einem Mädchen zurückgekommen. Papa, schau, Jesse ist mit ein, äh, einem Mädchen zurückgekommen. Schauen is a more spoken way to say sehen, to look. Yeah, and this is in the imperative mood. He's giving a command to his father. Papa is like daddy. Yeah, daddy, look, Jesse has come back with a girl. Oh, ein neuer Rekrut. 
Zeit für deinen alten Vater, sich von seiner besten Seite zu zeigen. Prinz Charming. <lacht> oh ja. Oh, ein neuer Rekrut. Zeit für deinen alten Vater, sich von seiner besten Seite zu, ze zu zeigen. Prinz genau. Charming. <lacht> Der Rekrut comes from English to recruit. I added it to the vocabulary list so you know how to spell it and to know that it's masculine in this case. You have an ER and the adjective here, Neuer, ja, because recruit is masculine. Zeit für deinen alten Vater, we have an EN, deinen and alten, because Vater is masculine and für, as you can see from the underline, always takes the accusative case. Sich von seiner besten Seite, die Seite, you can see it's coming because it ends with an E. But in this case, before it, because of von, that always takes the accusative case. We have an ER with seiner and besten takes an EN, the adjective always takes an EN in the dative case. Oh, a new recruit. Time for your old dad to show his best side. He's charming. Okay, wir reden mal mit ihm. Hm. Hi, ich bin Vella. Und wer bist du? Ich bin Walt Ö. Walter? Walt Ö. Mit Apostroph. Wir suchen die Leichtigkeit in allen Dingen. Keine zusätzlichen Belastungen, keine zusätzlichen Buchstaben. Ich bin Ch. Colleen, bitteschön. Hi, ich bin Vella. Und wer bist du? Hi, ich bin Vella. Und wer bist du? Hi, I'm Vella. And who are you? So, if you're a beginner, this is another way to introduce yourself. You can say, ich heiße. You can also say, just like English, I am. Ich bin, ja. And who are you? And wer bist du? Ich bin Volt Er. Ich bin Volt Er. Ja, yeah, I am Volt Er. Uh, we're gonna learn soon why they call themselves like that. Walter? Walter? Walter mit Apostroph. Wir suchen die Leichtigkeit in allen Dingen. Walter uh, mit Apostroph. Wir suchen die Leichtigkeit in allen Dingen. What was in with apostrophe? We seek lightness in all things. So this is the funny thing about them. They live on clouds and they're even trying to save letters here. So he's just dropping one letter to be more light. It's, a, it's an attitude towards life, I guess. Wir suchen die Leichtigkeit in allen Dingen. We're looking for lightness in all things. Again here, the adjective takes an en because of the a dative case and the plural takes an n as well because of the data so with apostrophe we seek lightness in all things keine zusätzlichen belastungen keine zusätzlichen buchstaben keine zusätzlichen belastungen keine zusätzlichen buchstaben so uh, with zusätzlich make sure to emphasize the zu zusätzlichen Zusätzliche, ja. So, no additional loads or burdens, no additional letters. Die Belastung ist feminine because it ends with ng, ja. Und um, der Buchstabe, the letter. Ich bin Chit. Ich bin Chit. You can guess what his actual meaning should actually be. It would be funny. You never know. <laughs> yeah. Um, wer seid ihr? Wer seid ihr? Wir sind natürlich die Putzfinkel. Wir kümmern uns um die Nester und halten alles am Schweben. Total wichtig eben. Hmm. Sehr wichtig. Kimberly, bitte schön. Wer seid ihr? Wer seid ihr? Here she used the pronoun, the plural pronoun, wer seid ihr, because there's two people, yeah. Who are you? Or in English you can say, who are you all, who are you guys, yeah. Wir sind natürlich die Putzfinken. Wir sind natürlich die Putzfinken. We are obviously the cleaning finches. 
Yeah, if you don't know what yeah, a finch is, list. it's the kind of bird, yeah, they are think. This is a thing. So now we know what kind of birds they are, even though technically we're not bird, they're not birds. Uh, but you can see that this guy sort of looks like a thing. I'm not sure. <laughs> Wer kümmern uns, wir kümmern uns um die Nester und halten alles am Schweben. Total wichtig eben. Wir kümmern uns um die Nester und halten alles am Schweben. Total wichtig eben. Genau, sich kümmern ist to take care of something. So they're taking care of the nest. Das Nest, die Nester is the plural. Ja, und schweben ist to float here. The verb is turned into a noun, das Schweben. And we have an M here because an here takes uh, the native case am Schweben. Total wichtig eben, totally important. Eben doesn't have a really meaning here. It just gives, uh, gives the feeling of um, that's the way it is. Yeah, that's the fact. We take care of the nests and keep everything floating. Totally important. All right, now we have added 30 words to the vocabulary list. Let's practice a little bit to actually remember them on the long run. If you're watching live on YouTube, make sure to give me your answers in the live chat. And also make sure that you are subscribed to Learn German Games so you actually can talk in the live chat. Only subscribers can talk. And if you're watching this offline, click that bell button whenever you subscribe to get notified the next time we go live. You learn a lot more when you go live. All right, you can send me the numbers on the left, corresponding to the ones on the right. Left column is in German, right one is in English. Joshua and Shad says 316. Also, das uh, Handtuch, I mean 19. Uh, 19. Yeah, das Handtuch, the towel, das ist richtig. You can see here the, uh, the picture of it with the colored border. Remember to always notice these colors. That's really the only way to learn German genders. We have to see them so many times to eventually internalize them. Das Handtuch. Das Geier. Geier. Oh. Der Geier, ja. The, vul the Vulture. The Vulture, sehr gut, Linda. Der Geier, the Vulture, masculine, because it ends with ER. Das Fressen. Oh, to eat. Das the Fressen. eating. The eating. This comes from the verb fressen and it turns into a noun here with a das in the beginning. Das Gür, the cheeky little madam. Das Gür, the cheeky little madam. What a the weird best word in the list. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, der Flügel, uh, the wing. Der Flügel. Annoyed. If you're der Tausch is in the exchange. The one, uh, der Flügel, by the way, just a small remark, can also mean the grand piano. Yeah, der Flügel. Ooh. If you like music, yeah, that's one way to say a grand piano. Der Flügel. Oh, fancy. Um, also, it sieht wie ein Flügel aus, yeah. Yeah. Also, if you're an English speaker, make sure to stretch your tongue forward on the umlaut. Yeah, Flügel, don't say Flügel. That sounds very weird, yeah. Flügel, your tongue you should stretch all the way forward until it touches your teeth. Yeah. Der Bissen, no. der Bite. Der Bissen, the Bite. Der Schläger, the Drumstick. Der Schläger, the Drumstick. <laughs> der Tausch, the Exchange. <laughs> The tower, the exchange. Die Hälfte, the half. Die Hälfte, the half. Feminine because it ends with E und schlagen to beat. Same exercise now with short sentences from the game as well as general sentences that are useful in real life. Kannst du das wiederholen? Can you repeat that? <laughs> Vielleicht. Wo ist das denn? Kennst du das wiederholen? Can you repeat that? Ich habe... Most... Go ahead, Christopher. Oh, I was just going to say, the most useful. Dieser miese Verräter. Uh, Verräter. Uh, that lousy traitor. Dieser miese Verräter. 
that lousy trader. Here's another useful one. Uh, where is it? I'm looking for come back, you insane cheeky little man. There it is. <laughs> Comme zurück, du wahnsinnig. Wait, help me with that one, Samir. Du wahnsinniges Gür. <laughs> wahnsinniges Gür. Genau. Clearly, I need to practice that one. <laughs> come back here, you insane cheeky little madam. Susan and Chad says two and twenty. Was soll ich denn jetzt machen? What should I do now? Tschüss zusammen. Bye everyone. Tschüss zusammen. Bye everyone. Remember everybody ich who's a beginner uh, to say together. Yeah, this is how you normally say bye in German. And also hi. Whenever you're going to say hello everybody, say hallo zusammen. Yeah, not, not alle. Hallo zusammen. Tschüss zusammen. This is a natural way of saying. Ich habe Kopfschmerzen. Ja. I have a headache. Sorry. Kimberly <laughs> and Terry in chat say 7 and 14. Ich habe Kopfschmerzen. I have a headache. Sehr gut. Ach so. Oh, I see. Ach so. Make sure to have that vibration in the back of your throat whenever you say ach. Ach so. Oh, I see. Was hast ich du denn? <laughs> What do you have then? Was hast du denn? Here, this is a spoken way of saying, was hast du, ja? Was hast du denn? Ich bin ganz zufrieden. I'm quite satisfied. Ich bin ganz zufrieden. I'm quite satisfied. Ja, ich habe den falschen Namen gewählt. Ja, yeah, I chose the wrong name. Würdest du etwas im Tausch gegen einen Bissen von dem etwas haben wollen? This is something the girl asked in the beginning. Do you remember? Schlegel. Schlegel, sehr gut. Would you want something in exchange for a bite of the drumstick? Drumstick, Schlegel. Wie kannst du in so einem Moment nur ans etwas denken? Fressen. Fressen. How can you think only about eating at a time like this? Fressen. And she used the word fressen because she's basically saying that the girl here is eating or devouring like an animal. That's why the, this is why she didn't say essen. She said fressen. Keine zusätzlichen Belastungen. Keine zusätzlichen Buchstaben. Buchstaben. Philosophy of life here. No additional loads or burdens, no additional letters. Und was ist das hier? A word that's going to have der three Sch meanings. Ja? Der Schlegel. Ja, Schlegel, sehr gut. The drumstick. The cheeky little madam. <laughs> das Gür. <girl>. Das Gür. <girl. laughs> Have you been waiting on that? Ja. <laughs> He's watching the whole life just for this. <laughs> Yep. Die Hälfte. Die Hälfte. Make sure not to Hälfte. ignore the very important Umlaut. Die Hälfte. The exchange. Tauschen. This is a noun here. The exchange. Oh, the exchange. Die Tausch. No, die Der Tausch. Tausch. Und was ist das? Die Handtusche. That's the plural. Das. Ah, uh, yeah. The, oh, das. The, the singular is oh. das Handtuch. Make sure to open your mouth and the ha. Don't say hand. Yeah, this is German. So your mouth should be open like if you're a dentist. If you're going at a dentist, yeah. A ah, Handtuch. And the CH has this vibration at the end because it comes after a U. Tuch. Was ist das hier? Der Flügel. Der Flügel, the wing in this context, but it could also, also mean the grand piano. The eating, the noun version, yeah. This is what the is for. The one we saw in this game today, what was it? Das, das Fressen. Das Fressen, yeah. Real quick, um, is it usually the case, I, I know it's not always, but is it usually the case that like verbs that turn into nouns become das? Yes. That's usually the case. 
Wer oh, weit? Der Bissen. Der Bissen, ja. To beat. Schlagen. Schlagen. Und was ist das hier? Der, der Geier. Geier. Der Geier, sehr gut. Alright, time to form some sentences. I know German word order can be a challenge. And this is why we show you so many examples here. Here is your chance to see how much of it you remember. These are sentences we saw in the game. So send me in the live chat or if you're with me here, if you're a patron, uh, you can always uh, talk via the microphone. If you haven't um, signed up yet, become a patron and come join us live. You can either scan the spark code here or just go to my website, learngermangames.com. You can also find that link to my Patreon on my YouTube uh, page as well, on my YouTube channel page. All right, let's start. What's the first word here? Recht. So. Mein Mädchen. Mein Mädchen. So, so in German, it's often the case that it means like this. So literally, right or correct like this, as in that's right, that's how it's supposed to be. My girl. <laughs> Come zurück, du wahnsinniges Girl. Come zurück, I was du totally wahnsinnig. leaving it for you. <laughs> He's been practicing that for a while. Come zurück, <laughs> du wahnsinniges Girl. Come back here, you insane cheeky little madam. <laughs> Plan to have a, a daughter one day and I get to practice. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Wir sind natürlich die Pump. Put, Putzfinken. Putzfinken, genau. Wir sind natürlich die Putzfinken. We are, of course, the cleaning finches. I don't think I'd naturally use those two words combined. <laughs> <laughs> Bist du mütterlicherseits oder Geier sowas? Nein, bin ich nicht. <laughs> Bist du mütterlicherseits, ja? Mütterlicherseits, Geier, Geier oder, oder sowas. sowas. Or something. So remember this last part of the question, oder sowas, or something, you can uh, add it to a lot of your questions. Yeah. Are you a vulture on your mother's side, or something? Du. Sehr gut. Kannst. Kannst. Uh, die untere? Ja, yeah, the bottom half. Genau. Die Hälfte. Untere Hälfte haben. Du kannst die untere Hälfte haben. You can have the bottom half. All right, these were the exercises, the first ones. We're going to do another session, so make sure to hang until the end to do this again. Könnt ihr mir helfen? Könnt ihr mir helfen? Ich muss sofort nach Zuckerdosendorf zurück. Du kommst aus Zuckerdosendorf? Deshalb riechst du so nach Zuckerguss. Was soll die Eile? Bleib ein bisschen hier und lass dich treiben. <lacht> Linda, bitteschön. Könnt ihr mir helfen? Ich muss sofort nach Zuckerdosendorf zurück. Könnt ihr mir helfen? Ich muss sofort nach Zuckerdosendorf zurück. Zurück müssen is to have to go back. There's no verb to go here. It's implied. It's often the case in German where uh, you drop the verb whenever you have to go somewhere. Yeah. Also ich muss sofort nach Zuckerdosendorf. That's just a name of the village here, which is Sugar Bowl's village. <laughs> yeah. And notice uh, the verb helfen always takes the dative case. That's why we say mir and not mich. Könnt ihr mir helfen? And again here we said, she said, könnt ihr, because she's talking to more than one person. Yeah. Könnt ihr mir helfen? Ich muss sofort right away nach Zuckerdosendorf zurück. Can you help me? I have to go back to Sugar Bowls Village right away. Sofort. Du kommst aus Zuckerdosendorf? 
Deshalb riechst du so nach Zuckerguss. Du kommst aus Zurück, du so doof. Deshalb riechst du so nach Zurückguss. Ja. Uh, it's, Zurück. it's a bit funny that you said, I heard you say Düsseldorf. That's, uh, that's I think because... I did. <laughs> I know it's a town. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is very natural. This is because uh, a small tip for everybody here. You have to remember that when writing was invented, it wasn't invented to completely replace speaking. People started scribbling to remind them of things they already memorized. And this is why it's so important to listen a lot when you're learning, because we learn by listening. And the words we see, all these symbols, all these letters are just things that remind us of things you have already heard. So this is why, Linda, here you, you try to relate it to a word you already know because you've never heard this word before. Yeah, uh, but you can, we can use this kind of uh, habit we have to our advantage by listening a lot. Even if you don't understand, keep listening. Eventually, you're going to internalize your, those sounds. And when the sounds become easy, your brain will be ready to understand. Yeah, so I watch as many of my videos as you can. I also listen to podcasts, yeah, not just my videos. Uh, the brain re re reads a lot of variation to really learn, and it works. It works, it just takes time, have fun with it. Yeah. Also, du kommst aus Zuckerdosendorf. You come from Ju uh, Sugar Balls uh, Village. Deshalb riechst du so nach Zuckerguss. That's why you smell like frosting. Yeah, Zuckerguss, frosting, I'm showing you here what it actually means. This is the melted sugar you put on cakes. If uh, you're not a native English speaker and you're finding that some of the English words a bit too advanced for you, that's why I added the photos. Yep. The verb here is riechen, to smell. Make sure your mouth is open in the, in the middle. Yep. Riech, riechst du nach, towards, literally towards frosting. Instead of like frosting, this is how you say it in German. Yep. Was soll die Eile? Bleib ein bisschen hier und lass dich treiben. Was soll die Eile? Bleib ein bisschen hier und lass dich treiben. Genau. So, uh, what's, uh, what's the rush? Die Eile. Stay here a bit and let yourself drift. Ja. Yeah. Treiben, in this case, it just means like, uh, let yourself loose, let yourself go. Um. Hmm. Ich bin eben dem Meiden mal entkommen und jetzt wird Mok Chotra das Dorf fressen. Du bist was? Warum sollte jemand vor solch einer Ehre davonrennen? Vor solch einem freudigen Ereignis? Hoffentlich laufen die Zeremonien auf der Muschelhöhe ohne Zwischenfälle ab. Wir hatten unser Meiden mal gestern erst. Es war super! Bruder Leitbeard war sehr zufrieden. Na dann versucht mal das zu übertreffen, Muffelhöhle. <lacht> ich bin eben dem Meidenmal entkommen und jetzt wird Mokchotra das Dorf fressen. Ist es Tommy? Äh, nein, Christopher, bitte schön. Okay. Okay. Entschuldigung. Um ich bin eben dem Meidenmal entkommen und jetzt wird Mokchotra das Dorf fressen. Genau, so if you remember, we, when we started, the girl was, uh, you know, was being sacrificed to Mokchotra, the monster. And this whole event is called Maiden Meal, yeah. Meidenmal, because they uh, give these young girls to the monster to be eaten, the they sacrifice them. Entkommen is to escape. Und fressen ist to eat for, um, for uh, creatures or animals, yeah. And even here is referring to time as it just now. Yeah, I just escaped as in just now. Ich bin eben dem meiden mal entkommen. The verb entkommen takes here the dative. So I am escaped the maiden's feast. Dem. Und jetzt wird Mokchotra das Dorf fressen. And now Mokchotra is going to eat the village. She thinks this is going to happen because Mokchotra did not eat her, so he's going to have his revenge and eat the whole village instead. Du bist was? Du bist was? You have what? Warum sollte jemand vor solch eine Ehre davon rennen? 
Was soll ich einem freuden, freudigen Ereignis? Hm. Warum sollte jemand vor solch einer Ehre davon rennen? Vor solch einem freudigen Ereignis? Genau. Die Ehre is honor. And davon rennen is to run away. Freudig, joyful. Das Ereignis is the event. It's nore because it ends with miss. Ja. Yeah. Why would anyone run away? Davon rennen. Literally away. Run. Such an honor. Ehre. From such a joyous event. Freudigen Ereignis. We have a dative here because of for. Yeah. Again, the adjective takes an en because of the dative case. Hoffentlich laufen die Zeremonien auf der Muschelhöhe ohne Zwischenfälle ab. Hoffentlich laufen die Zeremonien auf der Muschelhöhe ohne Zwischenfälle ab. So, the verb here is a separable verb, ablaufen, to start or proceed, in this case, let's actually say proceed, for this context, und die Zeremonie, ceremony, der Zwischenfall incident. Hopefully the ceremony is at Shell Heights, another name, Muschelhöhe, Muschel is a shell, und Höhe Heights, ja. Yeah. Ohne Zwischenfälle, make sure to pronounce that T after Z. Ja, both Zeremonie und Zwischenfälle. The separable verb is obvious here from the dashes. You can see ab, the second part of the verb, ablauf. Goes all the way to the end of the sentence. Wir hatten unser Mahlmahl gestern erst. Es war super. Wir hatten unser Meiden mal gestern erst. Es war super. Erst hier doesn't mean first. It means we just had it. Yeah, it was very recent. We just had our maiden's feast yesterday. It was great. Super. Es war super. Bude Leitbeard war sehr zufrieden. Bude Leitbeard was, war sehr zufrieden. Brother Leitbeard was very pleased. Na dann versucht mal, das zu übertreffen, Müffelhöhle. <lacht> Na dann versucht mal, das zu übertreffen, Müffelhöhle. Ja, so übertreffen is to uh, surpass. Ja. And uh, he's talking to, I guess, uh, he's talking to the, uh, to the girl, I guess. He's calling her a grouch. Ja. Yeah. Der yeah, Müffel is a grouch. So try to top that, grouchy. All right, let's see. Nun, ich dachte, dass wir Mok Chotra vielleicht bekämpfen könnten, anstatt ihn zu füttern. Das klingt ja grauenhaft. Warum würde jemand ein solch edles und gefährdetes Geschöpf verletzen wollen? Armer Mok Chotra! Hm. Lasst uns wieder über Wolkenheim sprechen. Ich wusste, dass dieser magische Ort irgendwann dein Herz gewinnen wird. Pauline, bitteschön. Hm, ich dachte, dass wir Mokchotra vielleicht bekämpfen können, anstatt ihn zu füttern. Nun, ich dachte, dass wir Mokchotra vielleicht bekämpfen könnten, anstatt ihn zu füttern. Well, I thought we could maybe fight, bekämpfen, anstatt, instead, so we can, uh, we could maybe fight Mokchotra instead of feeding him. The term is to feed. Das klingt ja grauenhaft. Warum würde jemand ein solch edles und gefährliches Geschöpf verletzen wollen? Das, das klingt ja grauenhaft. Warum würde jemand ein solch edles und gefähr, gefährdetes Geschöpf verletzen wollen? Genau, that sounds horrible. Klingt, the sound, horrible, grauenhaft. Why would anyone want to um, harm? Verletzen. Ja. Verletzen. Uh, such a noble, edel. 
and it takes an ES because Gushop creature that's Gushop is Nore. So that sounds horrible. Why would anyone want to harm such a noble and endangered creature? Um, so noble is able on gefährdet is endangered. This comes from the verb gefährden. So it's at risk. Gefährdet. Arme Mokchotra. Arme Mokchotra. Poor Mokchotra takes an ER because Mokchotra is masculine. Lass uns wieder über Wolkenheim sprechen. Lasst uns wieder über Wolkenheim sprechen. Let's talk about Cloud Home again. This is just a name of the place, yeah. And last takes a T because she's talking to more than one person, yeah. Let's talk again about Cloud Home. Ich wusste, dass dieser magische Ort irgendwann dein Herz gewinnen wird. Ich wusste, dass dieser magische Ort irgendwann dein Herz gewinnen wird. I knew this magical place would eventually win your heart. Dieser magische Ort, because this is the nominative case here, ja, der Ort is masculine, you can see it from the blue. Um, wer ist Jessie? Jessie, let's, let's ask her. Uh, actually, let's ask the last question. Wie schweben wir überhaupt auf diesen Wolken? Volumen! Nein, mein Sohn. Versuch's nochmal. Ach, äh, okay. Umfang? Fläche. Ja, ja, ja. Es geht um die Oberfläche. Kilogramm pro Quadratzentimeter. Nun, bis später dann, ihr zwei. Adieu. Bleib auf den Wegen. Bleib auf den Zweigen, oder? Die Wolken werden es dir zeigen. Nicht improvisieren, Chit. Entschuldige, Pops. Kimberly, bitte schön. Wie schweben wir überhaupt auf. Äh, wie, wie schweben wir überhaupt auf diesen Wolken? Wie schweben wir überhaupt, überhaupt auf diesen Wolken? Ja, überhaupt. At all. Or even. Die Wolke is a cloud. How do we even float on these clouds? Volumen. Volumen. Volume. Nein, mein Sohn, versuch's nochmal. Nein, mein Sohn, versuch's nochmal. No, my son, try again. Ach, äh, okay, Umfang? <lacht> ah, oh, eh, okay, Umfang? Circumference? Fläche. Fläche. Area. Ja, 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 es geht um die Oberfläche. Kilogramm pro Quadratzentimeter. Ja, 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 es geht um die Oberfläche. Kilogramm pro Quadratzentimeter. Genau. Yes, yes, yes. It's all about surface area, die Oberfläche. Kilogramm? Uh, kilograms per square centimeter. Kilogram pro quadrat centimeter. Make sure to pronounce the U here like a soft V. Ja, quadrat. Nun, bis später dann, ihr zwei. Nun, miss, bis später dann, ihr zwei. Whenever you start a sentence with nun in German, most of the time it means well, hmm, yeah, it doesn't mean now. Well, see you later, you two. Bis später, ihr zwei. Adieu, bleib auf den Wegen. Adieu, bleib auf den Wegen. Goodbye, stay on the paths. Bleib auf den Zweigen oder die Wolken werden es dir zeigen. Bleib auf den Zweigen oder die Wolken werden es dir zeigen. Genau. So, stay on the branches. Or the clouds will show you, as in, you know, you're going to fall, basically. You have to remember to do that whenever I click around. If I click somewhere wrong, we're just going to fall. <laughs> Nicht improvisieren. Chit. Nicht improvisieren. Chit. Improvisieren, yeah. Don't improvise. Chit. Entschuldige, Paps. 
Entschuldige, Paps. Sorry, Dad. So this is like just a cute way to say Entschuldigung, yeah? All right, we have 62 words in the vocabulary list now. By the way, if you want uh, access to the vocabulary list as PDF, become a tier one patron. You can download the PDF on my Patreon page. And it comes with extra exercises that tells you if you answered correctly or, or not, as well as uh, small games like crossword puzzles and research puzzles that are based on the vocabulary list to help you remember. Yeah. But for now, let's do some exercises here live. Send me the numbers on the left corresponding to the ones on the right in the chat. Das Handtuch, the towel. Das Handtuch, the towel. Uh, schlagen, to beat. Schlagen, to beat. Quick question. This might have actually come up and I just missed it, but uh, can you beat your wings like you can in English? Or, yeah, well, a bird. This, anyway. is, this is exactly how we use this verb in this game. Okay. <laughs> That's, I figured that was the case and I just forgot. Yeah. Oh, thanks. The bisson to bite. The bisson the bite. In this case, it's a noun. The bisson. Das fressen, the eating. Das fressen, the eating. Susan and Charles says uh, 215, 215. Das gua, the cheeky little <laughs> madam. <laughs> You took it from me. She beat you to <laughs> it. <laughs> um, Flug oh. Hmm? Colin? Oh, uh, the wing. Der Flügel, the wing. Or the grand piano. Die Hälfte? Is that how you say it? Yeah. The half. Die Hälfte. Now the L sometimes can be a bit soft, even natives sometimes skip it, that's cool, <laughs> that's natural, yeah. The Tausch, the exchange. The Tausch, the exchange. The Schlegel, the drumstick. The Schlegel, the drumstick. And the Geier, the vulture. Same exercise now with short sentences. Choose to summon by everyone. Choose. Make sure to stretch your tongue forward. Yeah. Choose on the umlaut. Choose. Come. Oh. <laughs> Get it, Christopher. Uh, <laughs> Van Zeneges Gad. Come back, you insane, cheeky little ma madam. Ja, ich habe den falschen Namen gewählt. gewählt. Yes, I chose the wrong name. Ja. Ach so. Oh, I see. Ach so, oh, I see. Larry in chat says 516, 516. Also, ich habe Kopfschmerzen. I have a headache. Notice how in German you have headaches more than one for some reason. Germans have maybe more than one headache at a time. <laughs> In English, you only have one at a time. Kannst du das wiederholen? Can you repeat that? Kannst du das wiederholen? Can you repeat that? Terry in Was chat says uh, 6, 12, also sagt 6 und 12. Bleib auf den Wegen. Stay on the path. Dankeschön, Terry. Ich bin ganz zufrieden. I'm quite satisfied. Ich bin ganz zufrieden. I'm quite satisfied. Was soll ich denn jetzt machen? What should I do now? Was soll ich denn jetzt machen? What should I do now? Was hast du denn? What do you have then? Wie kannst du in so einem Moment nur ans etwas denken? What's missing here? Fressen. Fressen. How can you think only about eating at a time like this? Ich wusste, dass dieser magische Ort irgendwann dein etwas gewinnen wird. Herz gewinnen wird. Ja, to win your heart. I knew this magical place would eventually win your heart. 
dein Herz gewinnen wird. Würdest du etwas im Tausch gegen einen Bissen vom Etwas haben wollen? I like that you, Schlegel. Uh, oh. Schlegel, genau. The drumstick. Would you want something in exchange for a bite of the drumstick? Wie schweben wir überhaupt auf diesen? To help you out, schweben means to float. What do you float yeah. on? Wolken. Wolken, because you have an N here with oh, the data, you Christopher. know it's plural. How do we even float on these clouds? Oh, Susan got it in the chat. She got the singular form. Nobody got the plural form. He did. That's Vulcan. I thought Christopher did. Oh, he did? Uh, yeah, sorry. I was uh, speaking over him, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Pipe it up, Christopher. Ach, eh, okay. No context. Do you remember what that was? That was the boy answering. The first Umfang. time. Yeah, genau. Umfang. Okay, circumference. Umfang. A small physics lesson here. Also, Flaskar, was ist das hier? Der Schlegel, sehr gut. Next time you eat a piece of chicken like this, a chicken like a drumstick, remember der Schlegel. Maybe beat somebody with it, and then you'll remember the word. To beat. Schlagen. Schlagen. It sounds just like Schlegel. Yeah, they're related. Und was ist das? Oh. Der Geier. Der Geier. Sometimes, by the way, to uh, curse a little bit in German, people, if you want to have like a innocuous curse, they say, was zum Geier? Yeah. What the vulture? Ah. <laughs> so this is what they're referring to. Was zum Geier? Was ist das denn? Das Handtisch. Das Handtuch, ja. And the way you pronounce it, uh, Linda, is also valid in certain region, yeah? Certain regions. The exchange, the noun version, not the verb. Uh, der Tausch. Der Tausch, sehr gut. Also the noun version of eating. Das Fressen. Das Fressen. Und was ist das hier? Der Flügel. Der Flügel. Der Flügel. <lacht> das Gör. Das Gör. The half. Die Hälfte. Die Hälfte. The bite. Der Bissen? Der Bissen, ja gut. Word order, what's the first word here? Rechts. Rechts. Rechts zu so mein Mädchen. Rechts zu so mein Mädchen. That's right, my girl. Wie? Wie? Uh, überhaupt schweben wir? Mm. Uh, ja. Wie sch schweben wir überhaupt? Ja, yeah, remember the verb comes in the second position. Ja. Yeah. Wie yeah. schweben wir also überhaupt? Ist, ja. ja. Um, uh, auf diesen Wolken. Auf diesen Wolken. How do we even float on these clouds? Bist du Geier? Um, no. Um, uh, aber nicht. vielleicht mittellicherseits? Ja, es ist komisch auf Deutsch, ja? Yeah? Yeah. Um, Oder sowas. Oder sowas, ja, yeah, because the adjective comes first. 
Are you a vulture on your mother's side or, the, or something? What are the us? Noch ein bisschen stärker. Sehr gut, but make sure to pronounce the ST like a SH, yeah? Because the S okay. comes before it. Stärker. A little st stronger still. Wir sind natürlich die Putzfinken. Wir sind natürlich die Putzfinken. You are, of course, the cleaning finches. All right, and that was our game for today. I hope you liked this video. Make sure to hit that like button. Yeah, and share that video with your friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to catch us live next time. Click that bell button after you subscribe to get notified so you don't miss anything.